So guys, being that we got this big behind gas. Okay guys, this is my old catch can uh, setup right here. As y'all can see, I think I have the import from uh, going uh, from that valley cover on the other end, which is right here. As y'all can see, and then we have the top port. I had to get the other piece, then connect it from up there uh, to the outside. Also, we have our oil feed line, part movie, um, connected. And guys, I did order a flange for the back side of this turbo so I can see how I can uh, do this exhaust. I did bought a welder. Uh, let me show y'all. The welder is right here. It is a, um, I think it's a flux well. So, yeah. I was practicing the other day. Um, I might have to get another set of wire because um, this one is like really tangled up, but yeah. As y'all can see, sheet metal, governor steel, general fabrication. So we should be able to, you know, do our exhaust. It might not be perfect, but at least we can, you know, get it out of the way. Hey, we still ain't do the fuel pump yet, so I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. But guys, overall, it's looking good under here, but it's not looking too good. So, um,. Okay, so let's, I want to get everything connected here, but I think the main objective, like I've been saying before, is the exhaust. Uh, I think that's going to be the time consuming. I still need to put my PCM back and the injectors. I'm going to get some Deets Wurtz fuel injectors, I believe 60 pound. So I think that's the only thing we have to do under here, and that should be it. And we're going to have to put our wastegate on which i have sitting in the box um i forgot what springs i have in the blow off valve and uh the what's the name but i could change them out and put them in but i might do that at a later time so and also this uh sensor right here uh intake sensor so guys i'm practicing on my new welder right here of my down pipe for my turbo. So man, I'm not a professional welder, but maybe I should attack each side before I actually started welding around. As you can see, we got this big old gap. Uh, this is my side that I did that I done. Nothing too perfect, but we can see if it will work, man. Um, I'm learning, I'm practicing, so it is what it is. Look at my shitty welds. Mm -mm -mm. This is uh, before, I'm sure y'all after. So guys, being that we got this big behind gap, yeah, I could probably fill it in going back and forth um, till I meet to the end, but I decided to get like a piece of an exhaust, uh, cut it and uh, try to fit it right here. So I'm, like I said, I'm not a welder. I'm not a professional welder, but hey, I'm making something work. As y'all can see, look at these other welds, not too perfect, but they better than what they was before. Um, but yeah. So guys, this is how I'm gonna mark it up right here. And I'm gonna just cut the excess off. So guys, this is what we're working with right now. It's not perfect, but we're gonna make something work. So guys, this is my weld right here. Don't look too bad. I'll try getting better. But hey, hey man, tell me what y'all think. 
not perfect, but uh, it is with a Harbor Freight um, welder, flex core welder. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Did I do a decent job? Rated on a crappy scale, one through 10. And I'll let you know. Down pipe for the turbo. So we got the, we're going to delete our AC, but it is what it is. Turbo going to be our AC. Anyway. That's how she gonna be. She might go this way, or we might end up going down with it. But if I do, I gotta make sure because my above valve gonna be that. Well, I mean, my wastegate gonna be down there, so can't get in the way. So hopefully, I figure it out how I wanna run this. So guys, I got it marked up. Um, I might end up coming out the hood, or I might end up coming out the side fender. But I'm not sure because it's going to be so many layers we're going to have to go through. And it might be difficult. I was going to go down that way, but I'm trying to make things simpler. Um, this is my, you know, my first build and all that. So I want to do everything temporary before I go all in. Uh, the second time to redo uh, things uh, the other way around, like that uh, pipe over there. Instead of having them two clamps, I want to, like, have one. Um, and... Uh, like this one, um, uh, I'm gonna run it down sometime, but really can't put that ball valve. And this is like a four inch, I believe. So we're gonna, might not come out the hood and all. So anyway, that's gonna be it. Um, I'm probably gonna get a wide band gauge. Well, I gotta get a bomb, probably get a bomb, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out this exhaust. Once I figure this out this exhaust, everything else will just be falling in place. Um, that's just gonna be pretty much it. Cause I think I just, this been on my mind lately, the exhaust, the exhaust, the exhaust, but I finally got it. But anyway, y'all tell me about my welds. Uh, I damn sure don't got no damn exhaust leaks. I'm welded outside, inside. And man, she she came out pretty perfect and stuff, to be honest. And I don't have this band clamp tight or anything just yet. But y'all let me know uh, what y'all think. Uh, I seen somebody come out the, the side of the um, fender, but I wanted to do something crazy nobody did. Like, I wanted to come out with like some dual tips on the side, hooked up to that, but I never seen nobody did that. I thought that would've been pretty cool. But I don't know, man, we'll see. All right, this will go. So guys, on that bomb show, man, I hope y'all have a lovely day. Uh, hopefully we get this truck done by then. I want to get it done by the summertime. Uh, like I said, my main focus is the exhaust. I want it, uh, I know it ain't rocket science. I know you like, man, come on, this should have been done. Uh, but like, I got time uh, for other things and all that. Like the Porsche had recently break down. I got to work on that now. I'm waiting for a part to come in. So I had to get that Porsche back together and yeah, I'm trying to get this uh, Tahoe together. Uh, my plans are on this actually daily drive and all that, you know? Just drive it and then work on a Mercedes, take that apart. Well, actually take the Porsche apart. I really want to do that. And yeah, so it's going to be fun, man. If, you, if you're new to the channel, man, subscribe. If you return, to make sure to share and like uh, and comment. Uh, if you don't comment, it's whatever. I'm still going to be dropping videos up the right. Uh, Y'all stay tuned for uploads, probably from like Wednesday through Sunday. I'll be uploading, try to upload every week and stuff, try to be consistent. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I might end up stop by an auto parts store uh, to look for exhaust or whatever. Uh, I'd like to finish it up and then I'll weld it and all that. Uh, my welding for the first time was pretty good. I just got to keep practicing and get used to it. Uh, Y'all let me know. Anyway, that's gonna be it. I hope y'all have a lovely, great day. I'm gonna have a great day. I'm gonna get in work and, you know, try to get out and stuff and try to get, you know, some things done and stuff. So let's get to it. I'll see y'all, man. Be safe.